That's one of the guys who, you know, kicks himself today for cars that he let go. I started Premier Financial Services in 1997, um, but I've actually been in the leasing business since 1979. So, been, been quite a while. I've, I've, I've had a really nice run in the leasing business. And mostly exotics for as long as I can remember. People ask us all the time about you know, leasing pre-owned cars. And they didn't know that you could do that. They, they assumed that leasing was what you did when you wanted a car and you wanted to rent it for three years. You walk in the dealer and you sign the papers, you drive the car and you hand it back. And had no knowledge that you could lease a pre-owned Ferrari or a pre-owned Porsche or a vintage car. And then, you know, of course the conversation, well, well how does that work? Well, you pick out a car and you negotiate the price and we will give you um, terms based on that particular vehicle and on your credit. We have a, a product called the Simple Lease. And what it means is that we give you an amortization schedule with every lease that we do. So you know it's based on simple interest and you know what you owe. You know, we do charge a fee, but that's acknowledged in the beginning. Everybody knows what the charge is going to be. If you've ever gone to your bank and told them you were interested in buying a car for 300000 or half a million or, or a million plus, Chances are the answer you got was, well, you know, I know you're a good customer, but that's just an asset that we're not used to dealing in. We've been doing this for a long time. In fact, we like the vintage cars in the supercar market best because they do tend to appreciate in value. You know, whether we're doing a deal for $50,000 or we're doing a deal for $500,000, you know, this is what we do. We look at the credit, we look at the individual's income, their ability to make payments. If we're comfortable with the transaction, we'll go ahead and do it. As the value increases and we start looking at vehicles over a million dollars, there are very few lenders who will touch that type of business. But it's something that we have the ability to do and have been doing successfully for a long time. The most expensive, I believe, was um, a car that sold for about ten million five hundred. It was a Ferrari, and you know we attend all the major auctions. And I was with one of my associates there, and um, he gets a text from a current client of ours asking if we were there. And we said, yeah. And he said, I just purchased this 250 Lusso. You know, where are you guys? Let's meet. We got together with him. We went off to the side. We negotiated the terms. He went and gave a deposit to the auction company. And the following Monday, we worked out the rest of the details with him and signed contracts and funded the deal. We've had clients who have spent as much as sixty and $70,000 a month with us on payments. So you might have one car that where they borrowed two million and they're paying, you know, fifteen or twenty thousand, and another car where they're paying twenty-five, you know, thousand a month. The irony to me is always that mortgages are, you know, stationary assets. Bank gets to do an appraisal and it takes four to six weeks, and you know, in about two hours we can look at a deal for two million dollars and tell you exactly what we need and have it funded within a couple of days. Everybody wants to find the best way to buy their dream car. So let's say you found a car that you feel has already taken its depreciation and is on the upswing. So let's look at a late 90s 550 Marinello. You can probably buy one of those for around $120,000 today. And you know, chances are that that car will hold its value well. If you were to go to your bank and do a traditional loan on that car, probably put up $20,000, $25,000, and your payments would be around $2,000 a month. We can have you drive in that car for $1,000 a month with the same kind of money out of pocket. By putting a residual value, by giving you the benefit of a lower interest rate, and you'd have the flexibility and not have to pay the sales tax all up front. And there's really quite a few cars in that price range now that you could lease for $1,000 a month and never lose a penny. We're offering a hybrid lease, which is really more of a balloon note finance, and it's about use of money. If we can lend you money at a rate that's less than you're earning in your business, well, then it makes sense. If you can run it through your business and you're able to write the check using pre-tax dollars, it also makes sense. But the other way that people use us is to build a collection of cars. They're able to leverage their capital to own more vehicles. And you are picking out the right vintage vehicles that are appreciating in value, you've now got two or three or four vehicles that are going up in value. For instance, we had a guy who bought a Gullwing at auction, and then a year later he was able to sell the car for a record price by you know, tying up 20% of the value. He almost doubled 
the value of the vehicle and his gain was, you know, substantial. But early when I was in the business in the, probably in the 1980s and somebody approached us and they were looking at a, a 1955 Gullwing 300 SL. And, you know, nobody bought and sold Gullwings and certainly nobody financed them back then. And it was selling for the whopping sum of $55,000. So we you know, agreed to lend him $45,000. <laughs> I remember being in New York City in a car showroom in, I don't know, must have been early 80s, mid 80s, and there was a California spider for sale for $90,000. And you know, people would come in and look at it and everybody was just shocked at $90,000 on that car. You know, today that short wheelbase spider is you know, in excess of $10 million. A client of ours had a 250 GTO that we did lease for him. He paid about five or six million at the time. And we lent him maybe about three million. And he had it for a couple of years and then traded it for multiple cars. You know, and got out about whole, maybe made a little bit of money. That's one of the guys who, you know, kicks himself today for cars that he let go. Um, same with Dinos. You could buy a Dino for $50,000 forever. Um, Daytonas, you know, $100,000, $120,000 cars. And, and then gradually they just started moving up. What we suggest and what we offer is transparency. That you should know what it is that you're getting involved in. You know, we're all nice guys getting into a transaction. What happens when you want to get out? That's really the bottom line. Are you going to be two years in and owe more money than you borrowed? You don't want to be in that position. So one of the things you want to look for is an amortization schedule, which we provide with every lease. So you know it's in black and white, you know what it is that you owe at any time along the way. So you want to make sure that you have a fair residual value, that the car will be worth that at the end, but more importantly, chances are you're not going full term. 70% of our clients are terminating by the end of three years on a 60 month lease. Like many lenders, we're looking at your previous history. So if you've never borrowed money on a car for more than twenty or thirty thousand dollars, it's a big jump to go into an exotic for one hundred and fifty or two hundred or, or more. You'd be much better served slowly moving up, going from that thirty thousand dollar car to a fifty or sixty thousand dollar car, where it would be easier for you to obtain credit. So if we do that first deal for you for sixty thousand dollars, and you come back in two years and you've paid us well, you know we're going to be you know, looking at a $100,000 vehicle now and, and more inclined to go ahead and do that for you. We do not get involved in the buying and selling of vehicles. We know most of the dealers um, out there and we know the value of the vehicles. But if you come to us looking at a Ferrari and the car is selling for two hundred, dollars and we know that the car is only worth $160,000, we're certainly not going to lend you $200,000. We're going to look at one sixty dollars as a base and maybe require a down payment from there. Sometimes you're able to get a cosigner that can help in some situations. Um, we might ask that the cosigner um, put the lease in their name and put the young person who doesn't have the previous credit can be the guarantor to, and let them make payments and help build a credit history. But we'll also ask for proof of income and you know they'll submit to us a tax return and it's not uncommon for it to be 50 percent of what they had told us which obviously changes the story and sometimes you know, this year they're making this kind of money, but they didn't last year. And, and sometimes, well, we have other sources of income, but they don't show up. So one of the things that we do differently than a manufacturer is we don't necessarily look at a scorecard. But having all your documents in order, you know, to be able to show us that you have assets, it could be a security statement, it could be, you know, a large bank account or a CD. Those are the type of things that we are interested in looking at you know, in lieu of the provable income. So we're trying to make a deal happen.